Neighbors along the Butternut Corridor on the north side tonight are saddened to learn of 52-year-old Beverly Palmetier's death. They're still shaken by the fire that was set. Police say the man you see in this video has been to prison several times on arson convictions. Well, it's kind of scary, you know. It's kind of scary that a person like this is out, and it could have been a dead house, it could have been any house. Around 2 a.m. on June 18th, this house at 931 Butternut Street was set on fire, trapping Beverly Palmtier inside. Palmtier spent three weeks in the hospital being treated for smoke inhalation before succumbing to her injuries this weekend. Police were quick to find the cause of the blaze thanks to crime cameras stationed just outside the home. I was just shocked that that happened, and thank God that those police cameras that they got here was able to catch the, the perpetrator who did it. Patrick Kelly was caught on camera tossing a flaming object onto the front porch and strolling away as the house became engulfed by flames. Northside neighbors are thankful that crime cameras are helping to crack cases like this one. I think they kind of hop out, but uh, I think most, most of the people, like, he didn't realize the camera was there. Otherwise, he, he might would have thought about it or just who knows. While the cameras help out, neighbors realize they can only do so much. And I've had my house just recently broke into and they took all my pipes and you know, pretty much a lot of stuff I owned. And you know, it just seems crime's been going up. Um, you know, the police do what they can and neighborhood watches, you know, we try to do what we can. But it's, it's a growing problem. The man caught on camera is already in jail, but now a grand jury will consider whether he should be held responsible for Beverly Palmtier's death. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Kelly Cowan.